Hey, what is up, Cynics? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get custom songs on Beat Saber for version 1.16.4. So first things first, before we get started, if this video helps you at all, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel as it does help us out. The so first thing you're going to need to do is download Beat Saber onto your Oculus Quest and make sure it is updated to the newest version. So once again, that's 1.16.4 at the time of this video and then boot up the game. If you want to check what version you're on, if you already have it, boot up the game to the main menu and look straight down at the little footprint in the bottom right corner. It's going to say what version you're on. All right. So if that is all completed, you're good to take the headset off. And now we do have to plug it into the computer and connect it to SideQuest. Now, if you have no idea what SideQuest is or you just haven't used it before, I do have a really easy to follow tutorial I will link above right now. I will also put it, a link to it in the description as well. So go check that out and then come back to this video and follow the rest of the steps as it's super easy after that. Now, once you have SideQuest up and the headset is connected to the computer, right at the top left here, it's going to indicate a green light saying that it is in fact connected. And your next step is going to be to the, go to the search bar up on the top right here. Type in BMBF. It should be the only one that pops up there. Click right on that. And then you're going to be able on the top right here to click install to headset. And that's all you really need to do. You just got to hit install. I'm going to say installing with a bar at the bottom. It's going to let you know when it's done. And that is literally all we need to do with side quests. So really quick and easy. Now you can unplug it. And now you're gonna wanna boot up your Oculus and put it on. All right guys, so once you have your Oculus on and to the main page here, you're gonna go to the apps button here. Then at the top here where it says all, click on that and scroll all the way down to unknown sources. Then you're gonna see BMBF, that's what we just added from SideQuest onto the Oculus, click right on that. Now, unfortunately, this part is blocked by Oculus. I can't actually record this for you, but just follow along with me. I will walk you through the steps still. I just can't show it. Now, so first things first, it's going to say allow permissions, hit allow on that. Then you're going to get to a page that says setup. scroll all the way to the bottom, hit continue. It's going to be a pink button. Then another pink button on step one here, uninstall Beat Saber. You are going to click on that. It's going to sit and load and do its thing. Then it's going to say, do you want to uninstall this app? Hit OK. And then another pink button is going to pop up saying patch Beat Saber. We're going to click that. Once again, it's going to load and do its thing. This may take a little bit, so just be patient. Then you're going to be taken to step three. Once again, scroll to the bottom in the pink button here. It's going to say install modded Beat Saber. Click right on that. And then you're going to get a message most likely that says, for your security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps. Hit settings. And then it's going to say allow from this source. Switch that over to allow back button in the top left scroll down to the bottom and hit install mod beat saber again and this time it should go through and you're going to get that screen that just shows that it is in fact installing the modded beat saber this part's usually not too long but it may take a minute or two and then you may get some weird message saying to close app just hit close app and it's going to take you right to the bmbf page now one thing that is important to do before you can actually get any songs though on the very top right you're going to see a red button that says sync beat saber so click on that. It's going to sit and sync the Beat Saber to BMBF and it should say sync successful if everything was done properly. And now you're good to start downloading songs. So once you find one that you want, I don't know, I'm just going to pick a random one here. It's going to have a little download button to the right of it. So just click right on that. It's going to add it to the queue and it should pop up with a green message saying song was added successfully. And then you're good to go back to all apps. You don't have to be on unknown sources anymore. Beat Saber now will have a little cloud download button on the top left with a cross through it. Don't worry about that. Once you click Beat Saber, it's going to pop up saying our platform abuse policy pro prohibits piracy, illicit modding and cheating. Once again, this is one of those things where anything to do with modding, it is at your own risk. Although this is a very common uh, modding situation that a lot of people do. So I, I really haven't heard of anyone getting in trouble for it. So just hit open app, do not hit restore. I'm gonna now go to solos. There should be a little custom levels tab up here now. Click that and it's gonna show all of the custom songs that you have downloaded. And boom, there you go, you're playing custom songs. Only thing to note is you are gonna need to go back to unknown sources, click on BMBF and pick other songs if you wanna do that in the future. So that's what you're gonna have to do every time you need to add songs. And then another thing to note is this particular mod is for the specific version that Beat Saber is on currently, so 1.16.4. It is possible that if Beat Saber updates their game in the future, 
the MBF will be outdated and not work. But if your custom songs stop working, that is why. So don't worry about it. Uh, just kind of keep informed on when those mods will be back up. So anyways, this is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope this was able to help some of you out. If it did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. As I mentioned earlier, feel free to go check out our social media. We always link it down below in the description. And once again, my name is Brendan. If you guys want to see future content on tech, games, movies, to literally anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Peace.